a high porosity potting mix that's easy to make, cheap, but requires a lot of maintenance. Let's look at the 5-1-1 mix. So the 5-1-1 potting mix is a very well training mix which uses cheap pine bark and is great for large containers because large containers have areas which are inhabitable for the roots. So a fast draining mix like this proves really useful. The only downside to using this potting mix is that because it drains so quickly, you have to keep watering your plants very regularly. So basically to make the 5-1-1 mix, you need five parts of the bark, one part peat moss, but I use two parts of peat moss for additional moisture retention. You need one part of perlite and some garden lime, which is a pH adjuster and neutralizes the acidic peat moss. Now let's look at what you need to prepare this potting mix. Now the first thing that you would need for this potting mix is some kind of pine bark. Now at Home Depot, I got this decorative ground cover bark which is pretty much the size of the bark that we need for this potting mix. Now some people do like to sift this mix to only get the large pieces, but I'm just going to use this as is. Now this ground cover bark makes up the bulk of the potting mix and this is the reason why this is such a cheap potting mix because I was able to get these for like two bucks for a big bag of bark. So the next ingredient in our potting mix is peat moss. I was able to get a big three cubic feet compressed bag of peat moss for a decent price. But you won't be using a lot of this peat moss and it's a minor ingredient in this recipe. The final ingredient in this potting mix is perlite. Now make sure that you get the coarse grade perlite which has larger particles and the perlite improves drainage and further adds to the porosity of this potting mix. And finally, we need some garden lime to neutralize the peat moss. So let's go ahead and mix it all up. You don't have to, but I like to add a little bit of water to my 5-1-1 potting mix before I set it out in the containers. And that is because it allows the potting mix to absorb a lot of water before setting in inside the container. Now remember that this is a very high porosity, well draining potting mix, which means that when you water the container, the water is going to go right through the container. And I've grown several plants in this potting mix. Here you see a tomato plant being grown and I'll shortly show you the progress. The germination rate is also very good in this high porosity potting mix. So here you can see some five gallon buckets that I've used and I've used this 5-1-1 potting mix to grow these pepper plants. And as long as there's adequate moisture, this potting mix does really good and the pepper plants grew really well, produced some large peppers and overall this mix turned out great for peppers. And this is the same tomato plant that we planted and this has grown into a really big sized tomato plant. Now I do not know which variety of tomato this is, this was just a plant that was growing in the ground somewhere and I just picked it up and planted it in this 5-1-1 potting mix. But as you can see here, this plant has grown really well and is now producing some nice tomatoes. So the high porosity potting mix does allow the plant to send out roots deeper into the container, into the soil, and it lets the plant grow to its genetic potential. Now, the only caveat or the downside to using this potting mix is that it's very high maintenance. Because it's so well draining, it's going to drain out very quickly and leave the soil dry 
so in hot summers you might end up watering your plants once or maybe even twice a day to make sure that the plant doesn't dry out and some of you might be wondering that having so many wood chips in the potting mix or in any kind of soil would inhibit the absorption of nitrogen for the plants however i have not found this to be true even though this potting mix does contain a lot of pine bark which is nothing but wood chips i've never seen any problems with the nitrogen availability for the plant all the plants grew really well and produced a lot of fruits and vegetables and you can see these eggplants these eggplants have also been growing in this 511 potting mix and these are some really good looking eggplants so it does do a good job for plants of most types so i'd just like to clarify that this is not my own potting mix i actually found this potting mix while i was looking for some gardening information online so i'd like to know from you have you heard about this potting mix or do you use this potting mix do let me know and i'll see you again soon happy gardening